Hello everyone, welcome back to Be Good Academy. We have Jacob sir and myself, Nasreen Abdul Salam. So, in the video, we have a common title of speaking doubts. So, we are back to grill Jacob sir more about it. Shall we start? I cannot imagine me actually, you know, uh, getting, what do you say, grilled upon a skewer and everything, but still, yes. So, Nazreen is again having a couple of doubts. So, in the Nazreen, the in the doubts, so, what is the module? I will clarify that. Yes, Nazreen, what is the module? Speaking, Speaking of course. Speaking, of course. So, if you have a video, I will tell you that you are the students of the Be Good Le Be Good Le Students, uh, speaking trainers, and that is the time of orientation. They have a clear doubts of their doubts. And the earlier video, even though it was only two points, even though it was only two points, it was really helpful. Yes, definitely. Exactly. So, our conversation, Nazreen, I will tell you, Jadi kita ada tu, video ini kita ada tu mungkin baca, tapi ni apa ni kau dapat hilang. Apa nama kau? Aku ada dua point tu, dari tu nama kita video ini. Apa nama kau? 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 Better than a stuck hour while talking. So, what is your take on it? Well, I would like to suggest, first of all, uh, these are all the natural factors that actually hinders an IELTS candidate speaking. Because robotically, we are not robots, right? So, we don't robotically speak robotically. We have to take uh, natural pauses in between. We have to take, even though it's a short pause or a long pause, we have to take our own intervals. Otherwise, you know, the pace is not some bond. Some people have, uh, what do you say, the wrong ideations and they have uh, wrong notions stating that if you just go on speaking without a break, that would be a wonderful speaking. If you put on an accent, that would be a wonderful speaking. But that's not the case. Speaking is not effective. If you speak in the first place, it will be effective in the first place. No matter whether you are, what do you say, you are going down an expressway or you are going down a highway or you are going down on a simple road, that's not the case. Then humming. Indo orang dah na humming orang dah agen enjoy sih kadinya. Ini ur personal opinion. Nampaknya students noda converse in a time lah. I think you also, what you say, undergo the same situation. Apa um ur paksa indo orang dah na tu parni kadinya lack of ideas. I would say lack of ideas and moreover getting over concerned about their speaking. Some side chun dekian ni ada ke? Petan na they'll get some sort of a what you say a vision in their mind like, am I saying right? Am I saying it wrong? Is it going what you say correctly? Is the channel or the pathway correct? Petan na orang realisation beri beri tega they lose the track. Then they'll start with hmm hmm uh uh they start lagging as well along with humming yes. Pini randa mati kariu. They fail to fill it with fillers. We have a common item of fillers. Now, we have a sentence break. We have a filler word. For instance, well, well, you know, it might be. Let me just think about it. Now, we have a filler word. Now, we have a filler word. What do you say? Pinna. Pinna. One minute. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? Leh itu, leh leh itu. Apa ini? Semua fillers ana. Apa ini? Fillers ana para ember teke. Nama kami humming, lagging, pause. Sisi dah lama avoid iam patjo. Paksenggil. I fillers le kurudal concentrate iya itu. Sentence break je. Ya, diri kami ini. Nama kami use ina words ana fillers ana para ini. Apa? Lack of ideas obviously it is there. Getting too concerned about your speaking while you are in speaking. Moreover. Absence of fillers. Any of the fillers in your video, you can see that. And uh, if you guys must have watched that, you might have got a total clear cut idea regarding what exactly fillers are and how you have to use the fillers. And the IELTS is not a good English language test. Fillers are going to be truly a lifesaver. Pinne, where are you important item or aspect in the church? What other people are thinking, you know, by just analyzing their facial expression. IELTS examination the second section at the Noki Karinal Namakelar Koreana individual long term task card section a lingual Q card section. A power section la Mumbi can examine or reaction lingual. They might be keenly listening to your speaking. Our speaking like keenly are listen to another Pakshang Lavra face or expression Ganatilla or expression will lata mask like face a lingual expressionless face. 
അത് കാണുമ്പോഴത്തേക്ക് കാൻഡിഡേറ്റ്സ് ഞാൻ പറയുന്ന തെറ്റാ അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് എക്സാക്ട്ലി ഇറ്റ് ഗോസ് ടോട്ട്ലി ബ്ലാങ്ക് കാരണം അവരൊന്നും എക്സ്പ്രഷൻ കാണിക്കുന്നില്ല അപ്പം ഞാൻ പറയുന്ന മുഴുവൻ തെറ്റാണോ അത് സൈമൽറ്റേനിയസ്ലി ഓൺ ദി അതായത് നമ്മുടെ സൈറ്റിൽ ഓഫ് ദ ബ്രെയിൻ ഇഫ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഗെറ്റിംഗ് ഇൻ ടു യുവർ ബ്രെയിൻ യു വിൽ ബി ലൈക്ക് യു നോ ഗോയിങ് ഓൺ വിത്ത് ഹമ്മിങ് ദാറ്റ് ആക്ച്വലി ഹാസ് എ പ്രീ ഡിസ്പൊസിഷൻ ഓഫ് ആങ്സൈറ്റി ആസ് വെൽ സോ ഐ ഗെസ് ദാറ്റ് ആൻസേഴ്സ് ഇറ്റ് യെസ് ഓഫ് കോഴ്സ് so i think that uh, it is only relevant to ask something that is connected to this exactly. so the next one is uh, we talked about hummings adhuvole thanne ellarkkum oru doubt aanu common aayittulla are pauses okay well pauses okay aano ennu choichu kanyal if it's a natural pause it is all right you know uh, pauses can be divided into two sections or two parts for instance like short pauses or long pauses അപ്പൊ നമ്മൾ സംസാരിക്കുന്നതിന്റെ ഇടയ്ക്ക് ഓഫ് കോഴ്സ് വി ഹാവ് ടു ബ്രീത് ആൻഡ് ബ്രീത് ഔട്ട് റൈറ്റ് യെസ് വി ഹാവ് ടു തിങ്ക് ഓൾസോ ഈവൻ ദോ ദ തിങ്കിങ് ഇസ് ഗോയിങ് സൈമൽറ്റേനിയസ്ലി യു നോ ബട്ട് സ്റ്റിൽ യു ഹാവ് ടു ഹാവ് എ ലിറ്റിൽ ബിറ്റ് ഓഫ് എ ടൈം ഓർ എ ബ്രേക്ക് ഫോർ യുവർ സെൽഫ് പക്ഷേ ഇതിൽ വേറൊരു കാര്യമുണ്ട് പോസസ് നമുക്ക് എടുക്കണം എടുക്കാതിരിക്കാൻ നമുക്ക് പറ്റില്ല ബിക്കോസ് യു ഹാവ് ടു ബി എഫക്റ്റീവ് ഇൻ യുവർ സ്പീക്കിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ദർ ആർ അതർ ഫിസിയോളജിക്കൽ റിയാക്ഷൻ ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഇഫ് യു ഫീൽ ലൈക്ക് സ്നീസിങ് Exactly. If you feel like as if your mouth is all going dry and uh, what do you say you want to catch some breath and apart from that you want to have a, if you're getting a hiccup or something you want to have a glass of water or something apart from that situations where you take what you can do very elitely is like excuse me I'm so sorry if you sneeze uh, excuse me I'm so sorry that is something that you can do and resume your speaking and if you have a cough just in case if you're sitting in under air conditioner and uh, obviously you're having some sort of uh, what do you say a cough just because of uh, the cooling atmosphere Yeah. these are all physiological reactions you know and pauses obviously you have to take without taking pauses you all will be like sinused and getting all blue just because uh, what do you say you're not getting enough air so short pauses are very much natural short pauses are very much natural but make sure that it doesn't exceed what maybe 5 seconds or 10 seconds maybe not more than that you know simply you can just sit down over there and like um what am i supposed to say uh what am i supposed to say next you cannot do that you cannot even show any sorts of non verbal gestures like that and also i think that long pauses are a sign of lack of fluency lack of fluency lack of confidence yeah. that is it i'm done with the speaking i don't have anything else to say you yeah. understood so uttri karyangal undu not only this and i don't want to what you say spill the milk or spill the bean whatever you want to call it as i don't want to spill it right now so why don't we make it another video yes so i think that you guys should keep watching the videos so that's it That's all right thank you so much Nazreen with a quick presence of mind right now and thank you so much guys we'll be back with another video clearing your doubts i would love to call it as clarifying your doubts and not only in ielts but also whichever language test you would like to ask you can just write in the comment section down in this particular video let it be pte let it be duolingo course let it be toefl or let it be oet thank you so much and have a wonderful day ahead thank you